Dave Roberts, welcome. There's only one place to start this week and that's with launching the game. How did it feel at the final whistle, having beaten them? Uh, all the boys were delighted, you know, just to put one over on your local rivals <coughs> and especially the way they came down, I think they came down expecting just to walk with the game and, you know, the boys' spirit and we knew from, from the off that we were going to do it on the day sort of thing. So everyone was delighted. Launson let themselves down again with their indiscipline and at one point it looked as if we might be losing ours. After suffering that reverse pe penalty decision, what was PJ saying to the team to get their heads back on straight? Just to focus. He knew, he knew that if we kept our focus, the boy, we were going to win the game. You know, it's just come together, play as a team, play, play rugby, play fair, and uh, we'd come through it. Where do you feel that the team played better than Lawson? What, what made the difference on the day? I just think all over the park, every position, I just thought we were more hungry for it. You know, first to the breakdowns, getting our tackles in, wanting the ball, and just, just all out 100%. You came over from Camborne this year, yeah. having played for them for quite a while and captain for two years. What, what prompted the transition? Just wanted to uh, better myself, to play National League Rugby, to see if I could do it. Um, nothing against Camborne, they're a great club, but I just felt that I couldn't do, do that there, so I'd come up the road and uh, give it a bash. Like. How, you, how do you find you're adapting to the pace of this league? Yeah, it's, uh, it's certainly tougher, but they've got a good a good side around me, you know, to bring me through and uh, get me more experienced. Talking of the side, how are you fitting in with your new teammates? Uh, really well, you know, I think I fit, fit in okay. Everyone's got encouragement, tapping me on the back and saying well done, and, you know, you can only get better, hopefully. If there was no such thing as rugby, what sport would you take up instead? Football. Is it too early for Redruth fans to look at the table and begin to dream of promotion? Yeah, I think it is. It's still early doors, five games in. If, you, if we're still in this position in March, and then you can start looking at it and think, yeah, maybe we've got a shot, but it's still early doors, and you know, we can one game at a time at the moment. If the first team all appeared on Strictly Come Dancing, who would receive the lowest score from the judges? Um, Chris Fuka, I think. Finally, it's a tricky trip up to play Blackheath at the weekend. What does the team need to do to repeat last year's surprise victory and maintain our 100% record? Uh, well, I wouldn't hear last year, but I think if the boys go up with the attitude that we had Saturday, just the hunger to go 6-0, um, you know, I think that's enough. You know, just go up there focused, do a job and then come home. Need a joke. What from me? Yeah, afraid so. Uh, go on. No, I think I want to do that. Okay. Can't think of any clean ones. <laughs> I'm blank. I still got I blank, but I've got blank. <laughs> no, I can't think of one. Sorry, don't worry, you're making me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> No, mind. <laughs> <laughs>